Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 20th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes. We're going to start out differently here today. This is a look at our sun back in 2019. This is towards the end of our solar minimum. As our sun goes through 11-year cycles, 11-year minimum, and then an 11-year maximum output. So during a maximum, we see more sunspot regions, and as well, more flares, and coronal mass ejections. But I wanted to share here imagery of our sun back from 2019 up until present. Looking now at 2021, as things started to pick up at the end of the solar minimum. Twenty twenty two, things started to pick up even more. And then that's when NASA started putting out some pretty large prediction numbers for solar cycle twenty five. And we are already surpassing those numbers. But all in all, throughout history, the solar minimum and the solar maximum, they do fluctuate over time and sometimes it goes into a very long minimum and vice versa and throughout our history it shows that during the last long minimum the Maunder minimum or the Dalton minimum were our last mini ice ages and this is something I've been talking about since I started my channel after doing my own research and diving deep into what is happening to our planet and our sun. Looking at our sun now in 2022, some pretty active filaments and as well a large sunspot region there. But you'll notice over the next, even the next six months as we get into summer, we're going to see some heavy activity coming from our sun during the solar maximum. Solar cycle 25. This is looking at December 2022. And now here we are in 2024. And we've got seven sunspot regions that are Earth facing. And over the past 48 hours, we've had three strong M-class solar flares detected and as well multiple C-class. So here observing the last 48 hours on our sun for March 20th, 2024, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory and mixed with daily events worldwide. M-class solar flare from the backside of the sun and as well from incoming large sunspot regions. Last 48 hours of imagery turning in big sunspot regions firing away C-class and M-class solar flares. Looking at outgoing, there's a lot of plasma fil filaments swirling around the surface of the sun on all quadrants, even the north and the south. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Two strong M-class solar flares. Three M flares the past two days. Coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing event that is set to increase our solar winds. Another amazing look at our sun here. If green is your color. As right now, we have an active seven sunspot regions on our sun. And thank you all so much for watching today. A lot of imagery here shared and information with daily events worldwide. And I thank you for all the love and support. Another quick look here at the incoming sunspot regions and a little earth to scale. 
Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, moderate radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 312 kilometers per second right now, and that is ahead of our space weather event, which we are expecting in the next 12 hours. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, two strong M-class solar flares, and as well a couple moderate, but solar flux has been firing away. Geomagnetic activity hopping down just before it hops back up for tonight. Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral. Space weather leaving the sun there. And as you can see, the date in the top center. Expected arrival late tonight and into tomorrow. And then ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing most recent CME taking off in an outgoing fashion. And as well showing the spiral of space weather that is heading our way. Little yellow circle is Earth. Now let's have a look at Alaska 3 showing the last 48 hours of, or actually three days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. And there is still at least nine hours of data missing. I've been looking everywhere, can't seem to find it. And I guess they can't seem to find it either and thread it back in. But nonetheless, this is Lasco 2. No major CMEs thwarted our way. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've seen an increase in numbers and as well magnitude. 5.5 earthquake here reported in the Pacific Antarctic Ridge not being reported by USGS as well as sizable 5.6 here, South Sandwich Islands, and that is west of the Michael Volcano, active volcano through the region. Chile with a pretty deep earthquake, 4.0 magnitude. And then our deepest earthquakes past 24 hours here in Kermadec Islands, 432 kilometer depth, and as well Fiji with the deepest 461 kilometer depth. But pretty deep earthquakes straight from Papua New Guinea and into Indonesia. And seismicity continuing up into the Indian Plate, Tibetan Plateau, quieting through the North Atlantic, overlooking North America, sizable 4.2 magnitude earthquake there, right on the Caribbean Plate, Loreto, Mexico. And as well, 3.6 there reported Alberto, Mexico. And as well, Wedford Heights, California, 3.3. Notable earthquake here in Hilden, Oklahoma. And continuing earthquakes, Puerto Rico. But definitely keeping an eye through Hawaii and all across the Northeast Pacific Plate right now with all the most recent activity. Having a look here at the last seven days for Shakers around the world. I'll take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. And I appreciate all of the love and support thwarted towards the channel and myself. I'm happy that you enjoy the information shared here. Keeping humanity aware and prepared as I do my daily studies. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Heads up, my friends, especially up into the Pacific Northwest, Northeast Pacific region. Having a look here at USGS, as they're reporting right now, 268 earthquakes in the 24-hour period, most of them through Alaska and as well the California state. But notable activity here spreading across the Hawaiian island. 17 earthquakes, only 17, but a couple on the west part of the island and as well increasing activity towards Kilauea overlooking Alaska as they've seen about 60 earthquakes in their region and I'm sure there's a lot more this is just USGS reporting them and then across western United States increasing and continual activity through Idaho west of Yellowstone but California, lots of minor rumblers straight up to Ferndale. Stay aware, prepared, everybody. Much love. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily deal. Bye-bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.